Okay, hi everybody, I'm Joey. Uh, well, you know, my son has been uh, without a bed for about a year since we moved into this house, so I thought it was high time to get him something like a bit more practical. Maybe practical. Um, I wanted to try and make everything out of scraps I had in the workshop. Admittedly, my scraps are not what some people call scraps, and they're really not scraps, just leftover pieces from jobs that I had accumulated over the year. Um, if you really want to see some stupendous, excellent use of scrap wood, go check out my mate Neil from Past Makes. Um, he's doing crazy stuff with actual scraps, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll get into the video and come back and talk about it afterwards. Okay, so I had some pieces of... Uh, 200 by 50 cedar, knotty cedar, left over from uh, the barn door build I did not too long ago. So I used those for the legs. And I had a few sheets of plywood kicking about. So all the rails are plywood uh, glued, pinned, and screwed together. Then I could add a nice round over to all the edges. And sort out the layout for the cross rails that will be uh, the ladder end and also the headboard end where there's a, just a single rail. Uh, part of the reason I wanted to film this uh, project was because I think a lot of people find beds a very daunting thing because they're such a big piece of furniture but they are incredibly simple things to make. It's, it's very easy, even if you don't have a domino, you don't need it, you could use a simple lap joint with uh, all plywood, and it would be very simple to make this bed. So I'm just using some two-pot uh, bog for all the screw holes that will be visible, and most importantly, um, I'm running the bog over the rounded over edges. Anyone who's rounded over plywood knows it gets pretty awful and chewed up and I thought just squishing the bog into that round over uh, made a really big difference in uh, making it look pretty good, especially for paint quality finish. I made some cutouts in two of the legs to miss my skirting boards and I had an old jig that cuts a 18 millimeter groove so I kind of repurposed that a little bit just to add a groove for the, the top rail of the bed to slide into. Then I could add the hardware on that attaches the rails to the, um, the end frames. With the bed frame assembled, I could then add some cleats onto the, the main side rails that will take the timber slats to hold up the mattress. Next thing to do was make a simple box that will be the headboard slash kind of bookshelf. It should have been simple if I uh, had the pieces the, the right way around. So after bogging up all these uh, screw holes and pin holes, I was able to fit that and realized the box was going to hit the brackets holding the bed together. But that was a pretty simple fix really.
So I found this one off cut of 25 millimeter plywood and it's just enough where I could add a shelf in um, under the, the top bed. Uh, you'll see how that fits on at the end, um, but it's just a good use of the timber I happen to find. So I mentioned earlier this was a simple build. This bed took me one and a half days to build uh, and then paint drying time on top of that. Um, so if you really have prepare yourself and work out what you're going to make and have a plan, anybody could make something like this uh, in a long weekend I'd say. So it's uh, pretty awkward actually getting this shelf to go in. It's just held in place with uh, three pocket screws on each end. Uh, that way it can just come out at a later date if I ever want to do that. All right, so design-wise, we've got a very small room, um, and you know, up until this point, my son is three and a half now. Um, he's been sleeping on his mattress down on the floor, um, just so he was firstly just getting used to uh, uh, sleeping on a bed and he didn't have far to fall. Um, I pretty much most nights, every night, sleep in here with him, and we had uh, the second mattress. Next, next to it, and um, now it's just becoming an annoying shifting, it, flipping up the mattress. And um, now that he's much bigger and more capable, we decided let's build him a kind of a bunk bed type thing. And I'll put my a trundle bed underneath where I can pull it out and kip on that. Um, and hopefully, this will also get him used to kind of sleeping a bit more by himself. And then I can shoot out of here at some point. So with that being said, the trundle base I already had, it's been in the family and I have no idea where it came from. That's just a steel frame with some wheels on it, so uh, I thought I'd use that. Now given that it is a small room, I thought there's a space here where I can do something with it. So I threw a shelf in um, and I actually originally designed the height of the bed, certainly this part here, is at desk height. So Further down the road, if and when um, we need to do it, this shelf can come out or be shifted up slightly or kind of rearranged, but I think some version of a slide out desk from underneath here would be pretty cool at some point. He doesn't need it now, so that's fine at the moment. He can just store his toys on here. And um, now the top rail up here obviously is meant to stop him falling off the bed. It's possibly a little bit high at the moment, but I think that'll be okay. Um, what I really wanted was for this to be removable, which it is. And the reason for that is, um, anyone who's got kids will know, sometimes you need to carry them into, into the bed if they're falling asleep on the couch or uh, in, in the car, you can carry them through into bed. Well, that gets right in the way, uh, so that can be popped out, put them back into bed. Uh, also, for making the bed, it's um, really handy just to get it out of the way. You can reach over very easily. 
of course the downside is getting it back in place when said child is sleeping it's not stupendously smooth for it to be a nice snug fit and there's a little bit of creaking and groaning and um, we'll, we'll have to see how that goes it may be not quite as practical as I thought um, anyway I hope uh, you enjoyed it and um, I hope Theo enjoys it tonight when he gets home alright see everyone